Hey guys, thanks for making your way to the video today. In today's video, I'm going to show you a couple things to check if your starter is not working uh, before you replace the starter. I'm going to show you the location of the starter relay, and I'm going to show you the location of the main fuse. Uh, it's a 30 amp fuse. Um, the starter relay, if you need to replace it. Um, you know, the Toyota brand one I've seen online for like $60, but you can buy the third party aftermarket ones for, oh, I don't know, 25 or 30 bucks. Um, it's pretty easy to replace. It is in a little bit of a weird spot, but you can still get to it. The 30 amp fuse, you know, you can get a packet of those for under 10 bucks. So a couple things to look at before you uh, jump into replacing your starter. Um, so this is on my 06 Corolla. This will work on the uh, 03 to 08 years. Um, and also like on the Camrys and Matrixes, it'll be in really similar uh, areas. So um, with that said, let's go ahead and get started. Let's look at the 30 amp main fuse first. All right, guys, here's your main fuse box right here. And there's a little lever up front there that you're just going to push in and it'll dislodge the cover from the fuse box. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. There we go. And then if you take a look at the back of the cover, um, it'll tell you the location of uh, all the different fuses. Um, you got some spares right there, a 10, a 15, and a 30. Uh, the 30 is what we'll need if we have a bad main fuse. And then that white piece right there is your fuse puller. Um, so let's go ahead and take the fuse puller out. Um, your 30 amp main fuse is right here. Um, I got the fuse puller on it. And I'm just going to wiggle it out gently. There we go. You can see that the fuse is good. As if it was bad, that metal on the inside of the plastic would be broken and most likely uh, kind of burned looking. Uh, but in this case, it, it's fine. So we're going to go ahead and put this fuse back in. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put the 30 amp back here. I'm going to put the fuse puller back. And I'm just going to push the 30 amp fuse all the way back down. Yeah, that's great because if it was bad, we got the 30 amp replacement right there. We don't have to worry about running anywhere to get one. Okay, let's put this cover back on and head inside the car to look at the starter relay location. All right, guys, we're inside the car here. Um, give me some credit. I am doing this one-handed, but um, we're going to pull this down right here. Um, this is like your little coin box, and you're going to pull up on each side and it disconnects it from the base and then you can kind of twist it out and you see these little notch parts uh, on the side of the coin box. Those need to slide down here and come out through those slots on both sides. So your starter relay is back here. Um, it's that purple, you can see it just right, right back there, the purple box in the middle of the screen. Um, so I wanted to tell you some of the symptoms really quick of a bad starter relay. Um, there's no super easy way to test this. You can if you have like a multimeter and a battery. Um, but, you know, they're cheap enough just to replace if you wanted to try it. It's kind of your call. Um, there are some videos out there on how to test it. And I'll make one in the future if I have time. But you can check those out if you wanted to try to test your relay. Um, but some of the symptoms of a bad starter relay, like intermittent issues, sometimes your car starts, sometimes it doesn't. Um, after you start your car, you hear it still cranking even after it's started. Uh, that's another one. Or the, the clicking, click, 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 you know, over, over, over uh, without hearing the starter engage. Uh, those are all possible symptoms or just not starting at all. So this is a little bit easier, cheaper fix, you know, if you wanted to give it a try before you, you know, replace your starter. Um, just wanted to make sure I kind of told you guys about the, the different issues the starter relay might cause. Okay, let's go ahead and get on our back and see if we can get you guys a better view of the starter relay there. All right, guys, it's starting to snow here a little bit, but I'm going to go ahead and get on my back here and see if I can get you guys a little bit better view of what it's going to look like when you have to replace this. So here's your secondary fuse box right here. Um, you know, I got my head on the floor looking up and there you can see it, the purple right there, that purple box. 
See a little bit of writing on it right there just to the left of the wire harness. That's your starter relay. Okay guys, so before you reach up there and disconnect the starter relay, really important, make sure you disconnect your battery. You don't want to get yourself shocked. Hey guys, well thanks for watching. Um, hopefully that helped you. Uh, please like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.